Question number six. Four quantities P, Q, R, and S are such that P varies directly as a square root of Q and inversely as a square of the difference of R and S. Quantity A, Q is increased by 44%, while quantity Q and R and S are each decreased by 10%. Find the corresponding percentage change in P correct to one decimal place. Uh, so from the from the statement here, we can be able to write the expression of P in terms of Q and R and S. So we have P varies directly as a square root of Q. So we can say P varies. Uh, directly as a square root of Q. That is what that statement means. Uh, and inversely, inversely means these ones will be in the denominator. Inversely as a square of the difference of R and S. So difference of R and S and U square. So that is what that statement means. Or uh, uh, means. So we say Q is increased by 44% and uh, Q, not Q but R and S, uh, R and S are, in, are decreased by 5, uh, is it 10%, uh, not 5%, 10%. So we need to find if this if these changes are affected, what will be the increase of uh, uh, P? So we can say the increase of P, we call it P prime. That is our new P is that it will be inversely proportional to our new Q. Since Q has will have uh, increased by 44 percent, it means the new Q is 1.44 of or 144 of 100 of the old Q. You divide. Uh, the, this one's decreased by 10, so it means it uh, we have uh, our our new our new R will be 0. Point, uh, will be 0. 0.9. That is like uh, 90 percent minus 0. 0.9 uh, of S, and this is squared, which we can now write. Uh, if you get the square root of uh, 144, 1.44, you get 1.2, uh, and this we remain with square root of Q. Uh, then uh, we can we can factor out 0 0.9 squared, since it is a, it is a common in both, and we are left with R minus S. Uh, so if you divide. If you divide 1.2, you divide by one by you divide by 0 0.9 squared, you get one uh, 1.4 uh, 814. And if you look at this, if you look at this, and this is this this is a uh, okay. We have forgot, uh, forgotten here uh, to put the square there. So I'm saying, if you look at this, and you look at this, it's the same. Actually, here we are supposed to, we have not converted it to an equation. So this is uh, P. So this means that it is the old P, implying that P prime is equals to 1.48 one four of the old p and if you look at this in terms of percentage it is a uh, if you say one minus uh, one point four eight uh, one four you get it is zero point four four eight uh, one four so it means p increased by uh, you 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 say it increased by forty eight zero point uh, 0 0.48 uh, it is a, a 48.1 percent uh, increase so P increased by uh, by 
one represent 100 percent so this other one will present 148.41 that's why we are talking of 48.1 percent and that's how you uh, you do that question that's how you uh, do that question and you get four marks